quiet and sit down. Hey, guys. In your seats. You need a half a cup of white sugar and a half a cup of brown. Divide it up. You've been three days. You're Miss Cooker now. So? You know how to cut it, too. Cut my class. So? So. So, kiss my ass. Do we get an F, Miss Harley? You're not cooking, yes. Miss Harley, we don't get an F for today. Because we did not skip yesterday. You cut my class. Hi, Miss Harley. We was absent yesterday. We shouldn't get an F. You, you. We didn't skip, or you can call my house. Rosemary out. Hey, wait a minute, Charlie. She's going to give us a piece of... Hey, hey. Rosemary. Rosemary. Give it to Robert. Give it to Robert? Yeah. It's from J Jeff. Come no, give it to Robert. Robert! Hmm? What? You dry that glass. Sure. She told me to get it to because she loves it. That's what she said. <laughs> Lance, hey, you take that right back, you sit down, and you get to work or go to the office. I'm going to the office. You're going right to the office. Now, you people are not it's cooking. Not right. I, You're it's here like, to do you work. Why are getting upset with us? You just start getting upset for no now, reason. Now, you sit down and get to work. Now, you hurry up and dry your glass and sit down. And if you get out of your seat one more time, you're going to the office. Hey, what we'll tell them? I'm telling you. Uh, I don't want to hear well, you're going to hey, hear give, give my stuff. Here. Oh, my you mother. put it there, and it's not eaten until you leave the classroom. I'm going to be eating until I leave the classroom. Hey, now, why, why do you say that? Everybody I else is cooking the same thing. That people cooking will take theirs with them at the oh, end man. of the class. <laughs> <laughs> you put that on top of your book, and when you leave class, you may take it. Miss Arnold! Mm. Mm. Be here when you turn and I think you're going to be up with Mr. Showalter in about two minutes. Okay, let's go to the office. I'm Well, I ain't doing nothing. She sent you to the dean yesterday? She, you didn't get called out to the dean for skipping? Uh, no, not yet. I didn't come yesterday. Michelle, she, I got called out fourth period when I came back. Really? Yeah. <gasps> she told Miss McDonald I told her to kiss my ass and walked out. Oh, we did not, Miss Hartling. Hartling. Don't say that to her. She'll me down there again. I've been down there three times this week. What little I've been. Miss Hartling. What'd you tell Miss McDonald I said? No, she said I said kiss my ass. Uh, we said we don't cook, we don't uh, stay. I know. So. She's gave me three now. She gave you three now. She can't give us an F for today. Uh -huh. No, she can't because we was absent I know, and I, Miss McDonald hey, called my mom, and I told my mom, my mom said she's going to come down here and show her what she don't know. She said she's going to beat the shit out of her if she gives me another F. Beat the who out of You heard me. You're drinking all my water, oh, Shell. Hey, Mr. Shell Why are you? Why are you wrong? She said I would eat my stuff and I didn't eat it. Okay, well, go on in, sit down. I'll be back in a few minutes. What do you say? First, I wasn't eat. I didn't eat it. He talked back and he was rude to me. What do you say to that? Did I didn't you, I didn't did you talk rude. back to her? I mean, all I said, all I said back to her was, uh, everybody else gonna eat theirs. How come I can eat my ass off? But should you have said that? Uh huh. Should you have done that? I guess not. Do you know better? Yeah. When he isn't yeah. cooking, he should stay in his seat. Is she right in what she wrote? All about uh, you staying in the seat. Mm -hmm. He should have, yeah, but uh, you know. Okay. I, yeah. When did you learn you're supposed to stay in your seat? When did I learn? First grade, kindergarten. <laughs> Huh? Yeah, I learned that way back in the year. Like 12 years ago? Huh? Yeah, about 12. 12 years ago, and you're forgetting, though. What did you need a glass of water for? Okay, see, I had already, I already ate a piece of that cake we had made. I don't forget the name of it. And see, and I wink it. I usually go give me a glass of water over there. She don't never say that. And I then, told him not to eat the toffee bar. Oh, I ain't talking about that. I had two pieces. But you did eat one. Then. I, but she didn't see me eat the other person. Okay, but everything she said is true, then, isn't it? I didn't eat the second everything piece. Everything <laughs> she said is true, isn't it, Robert? All right, yeah, okay. Okay, it is. There's no sense in it, is there at all? 
Um, but see, she didn't say nothing. Uh huh. But she didn't say nothing about the first piece. Should she have to tell you? When you're a senior in high school, should she have to tell you? No. Every time you get sent to the office, you know I send your mother a letter, don't you? And let her know how you're behaving at school. What's she gonna put down there? Eating in class, talking back to the teacher, and out of seat. Don't go back today. You have to sit out there the rest of the period. I get my books. Not until the bell rings. Cause she gets to the deep backs, you guys. Who you think it'll be? Is it either Jeff or Lottie or, uh, or Rosie? Are you drinking water, Rosie? No. Of course, you're the last one to go right now, as of right this minute. She's a tough cookie today, buddy. Better believe it. <laughs> About time you start learning to be ladies and gentlemen. I'll tell you what, Miss Hartley's gonna be lucky if she gets to this year without getting smacked. Hey, Jean. You had to write your letters to the president, right? Mm -hmm. Now, most of you did a pretty decent job, but please, none of you, start your letter off, and I crossed it out in most of your uh, letters, individual letters. Don't start your letters off saying, uh, I'm a senior at, say, Southside High School, so, so, uh, and, and I am required to write this in my government class as a project. Please don't do that. Uh, because it looks as though you've been forced to write this letter, and you should be, of course, wanting to write this letter on your own. Uh, it's okay to ask questions, but don't just ask a general type question. Like I had a student ask, uh, uh, do you think the, uh, the responsibility that you have is very difficult? Uh, how do you like being president? Okay? Uh, he doesn't really have time to answer those kinds of things, and plus it's not getting across some of the points that uh, I want you to, the purpose of doing this activity is, is being able to express your opinion about some certain government issues. Okay? I need somebody's help. Who can come give me help? Shit, ain't nobody in this class that likes her now. My husband would be so proud of me fixing something like Shit. this. Come here, you. Come here, Miss Harley. I can hardly wait, Miss Harley. Come here. Come here. Right now. Shut up, Bob. Fucking shit keeps tearing. I ain't doing this. Fuck it up. Come on, you guys. You just gotta move faster. This won't do it right. You're not re rolling it. Yes. Never re roll a pie crust. Come out. You'll have the toughest pie crust you ever saw. Call me one, anyways. That's gonna be tough as soul. It's gonna look like toy. Oh my gosh, she started. Now what we do after? Oh, never re-roll a pie crust ever. One thing water over. Look how tough it is. Never. No, oh, you'll never get anything out of that. That's too tough. That's too tough. You, you better start all over. That's terrible. Yeah. Hey, 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 hey. Well, you didn't even tell us before we started. What did I tell you? I sure did. You weren't listening. I said, you stir it with a fork, you don't overdo it, and you... Didn't you do pies and pastries last year? Huh? I will have my dad. <laughs> what about you? Now, have you added the water to that? Yeah. Hey, look Sprinkle here. Sprinkle the water on there. And you like stir with a fork. I told you. I Not said stir Jeffrey, with a fork. You didn't tell me that. <laughs> hey, Robert, did you copy your recipe off yeah, the board? Yeah, right Okay, what does it say? 
That's my mind. That's Jeff. Oh, cut in shortening with pastry brenner. Sprinkle one tablespoon of water over and toss with fork. Told, told you, told you. Toss with fork. I can smack you, man. No, ah, that's not tossing, that's pressing. Miss Harley, would you come here, please? She can't be everywhere at once. Gush. Well, then next year, next year. Fucking Miss Hartman drives me nuts. I swear she, I about she drives her me fucking nuts. head off her shoulders. Damn, Jess, you act like that at home? <laughs> God. Damn, wouldn't come off. Oh, what you trying to say? You're noisy. Don't look at me like that, poking on my side. Ew. I'm going to call your mom tonight when I go home hey, I and ask her if you're that noisy. Hey, let me see your pistol. Ooh, yeah. Then where's yours? I'm going to fucking hit him in about two damn minutes. Why two tonight? Why not one? Come on. Ow! <laughs> Here! Take that pencil if that's what you want. Yes, I poked it. Do you see that? You see that, don't you? Good. Here. Okay. Payback is... Ah! Oh. You, you, did, you, did, you have a little hole in your chest, honey. Where the hair should be, there's a hole. <laughs> well, uh oh. Gotta get one more. Oh, watch. Is that all? Yep, that's it. Wait, you have to... Oh, good job, Miss Hartley. You can't close the door. Why not? Because you got too far out on the side. Well, you can't get it any other way. The hell, you ain't gonna close that door. Hey, I'll bet you I have the whole thing reversed, don't I? Look, Miss Hartley's job. <laughs> well, I gotta unscrew that, man. Put it in the other Well, your husband be proud of you, wouldn't he? Dumb bitch. Fuck yes, buddy. Okay, Jeff. Yeah, baby. Get it. Give me that. Come on, Robbie. Okay, get it in. What are those little black uh, and then that thing with salt and it was pepper? <laughs> so there's a little pepper in it. Michelle! Yeah, man. Hey, uh, ain't just ready. Nice looking pine. What do you want us to set our timer for? Set your timer for about 12 minutes. Hey, man, my arm tired. Miss Hartley don't know where the fucking cooling racks go. It's burnt. Well, get it out. How'd you burn it? Because the racks aren't set or right. too high. Oh. What temperature do you have? Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Degrees. <laughs> what you have your temperature at? <laughs> you didn't check your temperature. I think they deserve it. Yeah. Minus. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. You should at least give them a, a B minus. <laughs> a D for trying. Give them a B for burning. Because what's that black stuff I said? Lynn thought it was salt. Yeah, that's what I Michelle, shut your fucking mouth. Hell, we can't go down no farther. Yes, we can. We can fill the fucker. We got a D. We'll be due. Is this a deal, Miss Probably not. A damn deal on a pie. I don't believe it. Um, yeah. You going to the game? Yeah. Who would play? Jay Kelly. Is it basketball? Yeah. Oh, hell, I guess it would be. <laughs> Look at that, that's pathetic. Nobody's supposed to break that till you go through there. <laughs> John, do you know how long it took us to do this? Go! All right. Does any of the other starters live around here? Robert, he ain't start, but he's playing. I wonder if yeah. they down his house. He lives right down right there. Right down the street, yeah. <laughs> They didn't do that much to his, not like we done to yours. I hope my dad's home when I get home so I can get some money. He don't know it yet, but uh, he's 
spontaneous out. This is John Vance. That's my mom, Sherry. That's my dad, Jim. It's Jimmy Evans. And, um, bad me. And, um, and TJ said, no, I'm not So they tore your place up. And they've done Derek's. We're going to beat them. We're the boss of them. We've got no 200 pounds. What? <laughs> How much do you weigh? 48 pounds. 48 and a half. I weigh. Check out John. You're up. Give me some gum. You got some more gum? I got a piece of my life. That don't do me like good. <laughs> I'm only kidding. Hey, man, y'all get fired up, man. Look at Jerry. What y'all say about me? Come on, Al. Come on, Reported in. Uh oh. You know, reported in every day just now. I have to do a report, Mrs. Hartland. Can I go to the library and then? I you didn't go tell out? you what I had to do. I do have to do a report. Two true. Oh, that's Robert House. That's two truancies. <laughs> oh, you people. I can't oh, keep up truancy? with you. Yeah, for tardies. Oh, I got one and then I. More to do, huh? Well, you skipped I, that I day. Yes, you skipped that day on. We it. walked out of here on that day. Yeah, and you walked out today, too. That's all right. And La Rosa isn't here. Oh, she's, she's a junior. A junior. Okay. Do you go with her, Robert? Robert. No. no. He's got a baby on the way by Kim's, or, uh, Karen's sister. Kim. What? Kim Moore. Kim Moore. Kim Moore? Did have her second period? Is she pregnant? Uh-huh. Can't you tell? <laughs> <laughs> no, I never noticed. <laughs> Are you the father? <laughs> he tried. <laughs> oh, Robert! <laughs> well, I'm furious with you. <laughs> oh, that's terrible. Are you marrying her? Is he stupid? He don't look stupid to me. Uh, he cracked me up. I am so surprised. <laughs> He was too. I'm telling you. <laughs> I never get any of this gossip toy. If I can tell you, find out. Miss Harley, you telling me, as long as you had Kim, you never found, you never seen. Well, I knew she was awful sick for a while, but she didn't tell me why. And you never seen that belly? I said, have you been to a doctor? <laughs> oh, naive Mrs. Hartley. <laughs> Yeah, when she oh. went to the doctor, the old doc said, Kim. Oh, I didn't know that. Did her mom, was her mom mad at you, Robert? No. <laughs> she was happy. <laughs> you date her, Robert? No. You don't even date her? Dates Robin and Rosemary. No. I go see her. 
I mean, see, when it happened, we was broke up, see. We wasn't going together when it happened. That was a miss. That was a mistake. Hey, but Miss Harley, I'm gonna take care of it. This lady a heart attack. I think you're stop while you're still ahead. Hey, Miss Harley, I'm gonna take care of it. Where are you gonna make the money? Play basketball. I'm going to, to, to see. I'm gonna get drafted. See. I should give you a big lecture. I need one. You sure do. What does your mother say about this? My mother was happy. It's her first grandchild. <laughs> I'm just now finding this all out. Well, if you'd open your eyes, like you open when you seen us walking across the parking lot, you would see that she's sort of big. I didn't know you were pregnant. You, you didn't? just told me, no. Well, now you're not that big. Now, how would I notice that? I, I, if, I you wouldn't tell even... her, if you tell her to quit wearing these big shirts, you would find out. I'm mad at you to... two. What? Why is why it up? I gave him a big lecture. No, it's her time. No. Yes. Right. And you never told me when I asked you why you were out sick so long. Was that uh -huh. it? You were too busy fussing at me. Well, for being, being out so long. And I said, what's wrong with you? Go see a doctor. <laughs> Practice over at 4.15. Where you gonna be? Home. Right. 4.15 ought to be. You better be. John, come here. Go on that with me. No. No, I told you I'm not going on a ride. All right, then. All right, then. All right, then. All right, then. I don't want to go by myself, Amy. Come on. I'm pissed at John and Daniel, too. Hey, what's wrong with them, man? Huh? What's wrong with them? They figure you out. Know? Oh, my God, Pastor. I can't hear you. Yeah, I got a headache. So, all right, then, bad, and everything. And next time right, you right, elbow me in the chair, I'm going to knock your head up inside your... Okay.
See, it's funny how you act like you know me now, but when I went up to talk to you up there with all them people around, you didn't even know me. You hadn't ever seen me before. Now have you? I come up to talk to you, and you just turn around talking to that other guy and that other girl down there, didn't you? Hey, you, you, figure, you, you figure this. You guys ain't the ones that's getting the bad name. No, we are. We are. White girls just don't mess with no black guys, but yet we got, we but, got, uh, no, listen, we swallow after, our pride after, for we, you guys. No, no, listen, no, no, we, no, no listen, we swallow our pride for you guys after because we care seen, for you guys so much. After we're seen with one of you guys, ain't no white dude ever gonna touch us again. But yet after you guys are seen with the white girl, hell, nobody cares. Mm -hmm. I mean, black girls will mess with you yeah, guys again. Me. But then, why are you doing that? Calmly, dispassionately, brutally, they flew, they blew the heads off their targets. Don Harris was killed. Bob Brown's brain was splattered all over his blue NBC minicam. I didn't see what happened to Congressman Leo Ryan. His brain was splattered all over the minicam. That's close. I might go up there and look under Colts and see if they have anything on that. What are you doing with all that? Violence. You might go over and look under violence. Just see if they have a section on violence. I'll tell you what, um, the, the, the uh, Parents Teachers Association, the National PTA, they have a rating service. Yeah. Guess what they said they had the most violence on TV? Bugs Bunny Show. Because well, they yeah, said... because they're always blowing that little dude up. Well, they're always, always hitting someone over the head or something like uh -huh. that. So, I mean, it's violence, and it's, you know, it uh, might be preoccupying the kids in terms yeah. of... Uh, or socializing them in terms to accept violence or make them immune to violence. So, I mean, there, there's something you might take a look at. I know, just shake your head. And you got your I material. You. All right. <laughs> I hate him. I said my ears, so I couldn't hear. I could read a dirty book and be interested. <laughs> well, these books don't thrill me. Lady, have you ever heard that? Talking to me. Have you ever heard that book called Wifey? It's mm -hmm. supposed to be a dirty book. Julie Hines was reading this book one time. Had a had a kid where they made it. They some people ran off with their clothes. Ran off with his clothes. They were swimming nude in a pond, and the boys took off with his clothes and brought this horse, brought this dog back and made the dog. And ever since then, he's been doing it with the dog. And then he. He tried, he tried it with the horse. <laughs> Shh. Julie Hines told me that. She read the book. Another sure winner. This can't be a dirty book if it's in the library. What the hell am I doing? Do I look like I know what I'm doing? Yeah, 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 so let's go smoke a joint. You got any? No. Mm -hmm. I smoked my last one while ago. Steady. I Hi. I was reading. I'm scared of Mr. Bourne. I tell him if he didn't write me a letter by the end of this period, it was over. Isn't that pitiful? What happened with you and John? He's an asswipe. Oh. Oh, my shit. Principal was fine. Oh, my shit. I have all of them. That's what they're going to the prom. It's going to be all for white people. I asked her, could she give me a suggestion of getting Mr. Young? Well, it's all for white people. Ain't nothing going to get changed. They don't ever uh, do that. Come on, Will. Above his hair. Do you hear me? Oh, shit, I thought John went out here. I thought John went out here. I was going to go down there and flirt with Russell, but if John's down here, I can't go down there. Russell who? Russell Moore. Wait. Right down there. What? Right down there talking to show Walter in the blue and white striped sweater. Mm. I know, Lord. Mm. Yes, Donnie going to tell. Lord, yes, Lord. Yes. Well, I ain't going to tell on me. I don't care what they say. You want to lie? I won't. You want to lie? Okay, we'll give it to you. I'll get to you when you get outside. What's that? Well, I'll get to you when you get a call. Here. I'm going to get out there. Call me if you turn to him. I'm like, oh, well. All right. Okay, 
Have you ever heard that song called You're No Good? Yeah. Okay, that is how I done John. I swear, because I was so wrong to him. So here's this song. Dedicated to Mr. John Vance. Because I was so wrong to him. What did you do that was so wrong? I went out on him all the time. I couldn't help it. What can you expect? A white player. <laughs> She'll turn over in her grave. He just told me he wanted me to quit drinking and partying so much with all these other guys, cause, uh, cause I'm gonna be his. I done him so wrong! God, how you... There's Brian, I bet he's going to my, that motherfucker's going to my house. I don't dig him sometimes. Sometimes I want to go out with him, sometimes I don't. I think he's gonna ask me a prom, but I'm gonna have to tell him no, cause I'm gonna ask my tear my legs off of me. Uh-uh, honey, because I'm going to go to prom with Monty, honey. And I'm going to give me some loving after that prom, buddy. God, he's so good lately. He's built so good, honey. He looks like he's got titties on his arms because his muscles so big. <laughs> John smacked me today. Ooh, I swear. Oh, oh. I fired him up beside his head. He said, don't you ever hit me again. I said, don't you ever fucking smack me again, neither, buddy. I was mad. <laughs> Showing him who's who and who's gonna hit on who. Make him think. We're going shopping with Airhead. She's gotta get some jeans and a bunch of other shit. Hey, Mom! <laughs> Watch this. <laughs> Mom! I'm getting her better up. Uh, I got a tire art. <laughs> Mom! Sure, you told me. Can you come here for a minute? Yes, Liam. I'm oh, right here, honey. What do you want? Oh, you're putting that gookie on your eye. Um, I need some. Oh. What? Now I'm here. What do you want? Oh, well, give me a minute. Oh, God. <laughs> I ain't got no money. I know. You better have $5 for that gas money this week because you ain't given it to me for the last two. God, you owe, you're after $13. And how much do you owe me, honey? None. You owe me $30. What do you want? A new pair of short outfit. Oh, is that all? Yeah. You just want clothes no, today. No Just money. a short outfit. Listen. I'm hearing you. I can put it on a charge card penny. You, you love that charge card, it's don't so you? Good, honey. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wendy. <laughs> I think John would like this. <laughs> <laughs> See, if I was going to wear them for him, honey, I just wouldn't wear nothing. Wendy. Look, that side. I love you. Oh. Hey, Wendy, read it out loud. Okay. Oh. Lynn, he don't capitalize his L. <laughs> Lynn, what's happening? Nothing much, I hope. But thinking of me, because I'm thinking of you. But for some reason, me and you can't get along. Now, why is that? <laughs> now, do you want me or... What? Well, yes, I want you. <laughs> you can't write. <laughs> But you ain't right, right? Cause she runs the streets. Cause she runs the streets. <laughs> With other guys and getting drunk. And I don't want to hear you say you don't. Cause you do. And another thing, I am, I always hear things about you and what I hear I don't like. Like it so. The only thing I'm asking is to be cool cause you is gonna have to be my lady and nobody else. Dang. 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 Oh. Is John there? Okay. I was gonna say if he ain't there, I'll never call him again, the motherfucker. I like the letter. <laughs> that was sweet. That letter was sweet. Oh, See, I know. <laughs> shut up. Did it kill you to write me a letter? Did it kill you to write me? Oh, that's sweet. He's all right. He gets high. He gets me joints. You don't want to teach other issue joints. Well, that's why he's doing that.
here with forty dollars one night, and it was gone. Spending it on all the little white girls in here. Yeah, the nigger. his name is, but he's a smelly fucking nigger. John! Get your ass down here. Get your ass down here. Wendy, is he coming? Huh? Tell him I'm out of here now. Where is John? Daryl, Daryl, where's John? Hey. He's supposed to be with your no, ass girl. right now. Hey, this he told girl. us to wait 15 I minutes out of Cecilia. He didn't come 15 minutes, so... Hey, where your friend at? Hey. Amy? You came to my party, yeah. I know, I know who you are. Where your friend at? Um, hey, what's happening? Nothing, Daryl. Where's that stanky hey, butt at? We're going to get another party tonight. Tonight? We got everything now. Tonight? Yeah. I'll what be there. I'll, 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 I'll be there. Hey, hey, <laughs> there. Yeah. Fuck John. I'll, Neil's good looking, ain't he? Amy went out with him. He's good looking. What time are you going to be home? What time? Not late. That don't tell me nothing. <laughs> that don't tell her nothing, well, does what? it? No, I need a little bit of a... Eleven! Eleven! Okay. Eleven! Yeah, you used to have trouble, Spacey. I don't know it. Hey, hey, that's a, that's a nice song. <laughs> <laughs> Wendy's about half cracked. <laughs> I'm glad you're still on like midnight. Need about three more of these. Drink, drink, drink this. Taste that. That's pretty good. That's good shit. Oh, yeah. Neil's gonna be drunk. I always get drunk when I come over here. Tell you. Last time I got high, but I wasn't near as better as I am right now. Hey, I'll tell you what, next hey. time next time I ask you to come, I'm gonna have some hash. Put leg side on. Put, put leg side on. You better make yourself at home. Hey, when I get drunk, I get drunk. You better make yourself at home. Everybody, my friend. What's Molly's number? On the, on the ground. Down on the floor. I was supposed to be talking to John and nobody else, okay? I was seeing John Davis, John Dockery, Brian Thompson, Dank Dow, all at the same time. I didn't jive. I was wrong to that guy. I did that door, that dither. It's what to say. I did that door, that dither. <laughs> My God, you smell so good. Smell like onion. Good. Oh, oh. <laughs> it's been nice smelling you. I've been talking to you. pictures of John. I'm in love with him, I swear. I have to admit it. But see, these cards are from Timmy Widget. Lynn, Lynn, and Lynn. Sent this one through the mail. They are so cute. I just love him. This card may not look like much, but I think you'll like it. I don't look like much, and you like me, don't you? <laughs> Isn't that cute? But that's a lie. He's one of them good-looking but everybody in the place put a whistle in your face, scream it up and say, yo, hit it. And he sent me this one second. I like you. I knew that. You're cute and sweet, too. Love you, Timmy. Ditto, ditto. Ditto, ditto, motherfuck. Motherfuck, motherfuck, motherfuck. Oh, my God, he spent 18 cents on me. <laughs> 
And I got this one last, and it's just real sweet. See, look, isn't that sweet? A little note to let you know I'm thinking of you. Love you, Mr. Timmy Earl Widget. I know he thinks about me. He still does. She. No Miss Irma Bomback. <laughs> the girl he's pre engaged, I mean, engaged to for six years. Irma Cushenberry. <laughs> Irma Joe Cushenberry, I think you suck, Nick. I hate her. I swear I do. I hate her. I'll beat her butt, too. I'm bad. <laughs> Did we flush down the toilet or what? It just take. Oh, I wish she'd hurry up so I turn off the light because I'm getting a headache. My God, grab your head. And if you're feeling like you're not all right, somebody let me know. I'm letting you know. <laughs> Wendy. Wendy's like, my God, grab your head. <laughs> <laughs> Girl, you take the blue one and let me have the brown one. No, I need two blankets on me or else I have nightmares. <laughs> I'm serious. It'll always have to. It's usually thin. Wendy, come here. Turn on the light now. Sure we can. Sure we can. Good night, Joel. Good night. Boom, boom. Out go the lights. <laughs> you know what? I just get very annoyed because I feel that I'm here to teach you people something. Not for you to waste your time in the classroom. And there's been lots of time wasted this nine weeks, and I'm a little tired of it. Sorry. What? Don't we got to do an oral report next semester? Next nine weeks, we do foreign cookery. There is an oral report. Hey, I'm going to go down and be talking to my counselor. Get me the hell out of here. <laughs> Help. It's getting over my head. When I saw a copy and copy and copy. I bet you, you, straight, you went straight to ours. You got caught the night before. The <laughs> others got caught last night. You went straight to ours, didn't you? You sure did. I told you. Sure did. I told you. you. <laughs> It was straight to I know these kids was copying. Listen, hey, I'm man, not yeah. here to win a popularity contest. I'm here to teach you something. Yes, sir. And I'm not only teaching you uh, regional right. cookery. I am teaching you citizenship, citizenship how, how to, to be a, a good, good person, person, how to, how to be, be honest, honest, how to do your own work. work. And if I don't do that, I'm not a very good teacher. teacher. You left out the most important one. You ain't teaching what? us how to cook. and you went here yet, didn't no, I, I? I went back to Wiley. Why? Get my refill. How many do you want you to smoke? About three. How many you got left? Why? How many you got left? Why you want one? How many you got left? About ten. 
Well, smoke one. You got that many left? A little bag, I think. A little bag. Who rolled these joints up for you? I did. You rolled them joints like that, that skinny? It's tight. Yeah, it's tight because it's too hey, it's skinny. Little. It ain't that. Will your father get mad because I was by? He get high with you? Nah. He don't get high with you? No, no, I'm gonna ask him to get high with me. I'm gonna ask, if he comes home, yeah, if he comes home, I ask him to smoke a joint. Why you lie so much? Why they be lying? I don't know why you keep lying. Stubborn. You is. You are. I, hey, that night I. Ooh. <laughs> ooh. You gonna call me about? You told me to call you at a certain time. Twice in two months. And you told me to call you at a certain time. And I called and you was not home. I called again. Three hours later, you hadn't even been home yet. Oh, then, even... yes, you hear it then. This is the first time I got seen since this time. Then, the next night, you told me, don't you keep leaning up like that. Next time you told me to meet you here, I said, okay, a half hour. He thought I said an hour. Did not show. I said, oh, if I ever get my hands on him. Oh! Stop! God! Are you crazy? Is you? Yeah. I know that. I'm leaving. You make me sick. You do that shit all the time. You make me sick, dude. <laughs> <laughs> dude, let me out of here. Don't you let go back my pants, boy. Go over and talk to them motherfucking fish. Because when I leave, who are you going to talk to anyhow? Melody. All right, now. Oh, don't you even. <laughs> Bye, then. <laughs> What is that? Daryl! Hey, Me and John is in a knockdown drag out. I'm leaving. Where are you? What He's happened? in the house. You better go talk some sense into him. <laughs> All right. I'm telling you, I'm leaving. You didn't know who it was at first, did you? Uh, where were you going? I'm leaving. <laughs> She's serious business. She's gone. Ryan, boy. Okay, you got no problem? Where? What? What are you laughing? Hey, hey, what's up? What's wrong with you? Hey, what's wrong with you, girl? Don't call me, girl. No, you come here. You come here with me for a minute. Come here, big boy. This makes me mad. Don't glare at me like that. I'm sorry. You want me to go up there and tell you I'm sorry in front of everybody? No, that's alright. You ain't leaving. I know. My voice too rough. I like that station he's got that on. Okay. Alright. Don't leave. You want to leave? You want me to leave? Seat and leave? Uh -uh. Would you shrink down so my my neck hurts? <laughs> Here, come here. I ain't going nowhere. Don't get cocky. Don't raise your voice. <laughs> Me in the city. You like that song? No. No, I don't like that. You give up on me? No. Yes, sometimes. Why is that? Because I can't never keep up with ya. you. You keep up with me. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and say it. Yes, you don't want all gone. You don't want to stay in the streets. Then how come I ain't been able to find you all day? Oh, well, I ain't been able to find you. You can't I... call my house for one thing. <laughs> well, you can't call my house now. OK, I'll call you. <laughs> come back here, girl. My mom's going to kill me. I have to lie to her. She's such a bitch. I think she kind of knew I was coming over here, though. Because she goes, well, uh, over by Ball Brothers, all black people. I said, Janet's house. She goes, no, you was going to John's, wasn't you? I said, no. So she told me, I don't care. I don't. I ain't got hiding from her no more. And they lit a cross out in the yard last night. About, well, we didn't go to bed until it must have been about three. And then Jim, I got up and... I looked down and I'm like, oh, what the heck is that? You know, it was about so tall. And I thought, oh, that's a, cro a wooden cross. And so I went out and pulled it up, and I, and I noticed on the other side it was charred where it didn't burn very good. 
I thought, oh, this is really cute. But I told Jim, I said, well, they, they, I know that they don't know us very well because if they knew us very well, I don't think they'd do it because Jim, Jim Ray, the one that's shooting by after messing around in the middle of the night like that. Oh, shit, he always makes a mess in here. TJ, don't never flush the toilet. Leave the blow dryer laid just anywhere. Leave water clear across the sink. I don't wash it off every day. So clean it up. Yeah. Nine, I'm sure. I'll About be home nine. in bed by nine. Oh, you are. <laughs> you probably yes, be ten. No, I'm going home and going to bed at 5.30. If I be home. Huh? Okay, if I don't know I'll be home at 5.30. Well, you're you going to be out like getting high, you know. Hey, it's Out. <laughs> what are we making? Salmon croquettes. When? Tomorrow. Same we won't be here tomorrow. Monday. Salmon croquettes. Salmon patties, you know the thing. Do I gotta bring anything in? No. Yourself. Ah. <laughs> Let's go hey, do we eat these bringing? salmon? I mean, Monday. Yeah, we'll eat them 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 Monday. Yeah, we'll eat Bit the whiskey. Hey, I bring well, this. I cut myself hey, two times over here. I bring, it, I bring it some gin. No, you're not bringing that stuff here to school. I bring some gin. You bring I bring some Jack. Hey, <laughs> bet. You bring some Jack. You I bring the gin. You guys got some for us. You bring an ounce. I should bring the speeders. Yeah, you bring the speeders. We get I, fucked up. I bring the <laughs> Hey, baby. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. Boy, when them shit towns dudes hear me say, hey, baby, they steal on me. What you say? They steal you, all right? Uh, you be still, for sure. You be stiff still. Nah. You know what? What? Hey, a person in shit town scared me. That's right, they ain't scared of you. Oh, <laughs> he is. I'm probably afraid of you. I but you're that. scared of all them. No, I ain't. Well, then why okay. won't you come down there, Robert? Really? Come down and visit. You want the visitation rights? All right. I'll be down in Shed Town tonight, 7 o'clock. Yeah, about to be there. Okay, we all be at Thomas Park. Go, oh, I'll be there. Thomas Park? Yeah. She won't be there very long. Where's Thomas Park at? Robert, if you know where Shed Town's at, you know where Thomas Park's at. Don't come up and talk to us, because we'd hate to get whooped, too. <laughs> really? We don't know you. <laughs> like I said, I'm bringing the BBB. Like no, said, we don't want no racial rights. I'm about to show you. What we I'm don't want to see about. you don't get write, involved. Don't write BBB on my paper. We, Here. You write on your paper. We want KKK. Okay. Tell me? Oh. No. <laughs> no. You're... You said write the BBB, the KKK. Well, for you, it'd be the, them three Bs. The, the KKK sucks. <laughs> the big Babylon baby. <laughs> Too much, too much. Sure ain't I'm sorry, that. Rob. I didn't mean to. You know. Say something like that. We too, burn a cross on your, on your, on, on, I doubt that. On, on, on your property. I, that was water about Lynn Massey, wasn't it? I'm telling you what. No, that was her fault there. What? They burn a cross they down burn in her yard. Cause messing with John. Huh? I guess. I don't know. I, I don't know. That's cold business, you know. I tell him, motherfucker. Watch your mouth, boy. Next time this kid goes by me and says you fucking nigger lover, I'm gonna let him have it. He only said it today. See, you know, it's the only time he said it was when um uh, me and Penny went and talked to John, or P I went with Penny and I was by myself at my locker. His locker's right down by mine. That's the only time he said it. He won't say it when I'm with nobody that's black because he knows it about ten people jump on him. Next time he says something to him, I'll say, well, who died and made you God just because your girlfriend just had a baby? I'm going to tell him, too. They just act like it's just goes against the grain for everybody just to get along. But I'll tell you, Jim would be the first one to throw a big fit if there was any 
big love affair going on, believe me. That, and Lynn knows it. That's what makes me the damn man. And most good, most good black people, they don't want their kids to marry white people either. You know, it messes up their race. Oh, uh, yeah, one second. Yeah, that's what she wants. She called here this afternoon and got cocky. It's me and one Lynn's phone number at work, and I said, you ain't allowed to call out there. She said, hey, look, I want to know who this is. I know you're black. Click. <laughs> she sound cocky, though, You should say, I can tell by the smell you're black. Why don't you guys go do some moving around the car so I can get my car in the driveway? I got it right out front where somebody can do something to it if they decide to. You guys are leaving? Yeah, I have to do it. Yeah, he's gonna go see his wife. He's gonna go see his wife. Let's call him here. Hello? Who is this place? Just a minute. Hello? Yeah. Who is this? Kathy here. Oh, I don't think I know you, and I don't, you know, just give out any information to anybody I don't know. And I am scared. Oh, God! Oh, oh. I knew it. What she said, if it's going to be repeated. She's going to get you. I'm shaking now. I am pissed. You let her bring her black stuff right over here. Ugh. Lord, no. Let me talk to John, please. Is this Deke? The phone's clicking. Once you click over and see who it is, and if it's some girl named Kathy, you tell her to bring her black ass over here. She said, well, um, I just got to ask you something. I said, she said, I, you know, I go, what? And she goes, are you messing with Tom Vance? She goes, well, let me tell you something, bitch. You better stay away from him. I start, I start saying, honey, I'm scared of you, and she hung up on me. <coughs> Man, I don't even know no Kathy girl. Come on, Brands, let's run. Uh -huh. When he called this afternoon, he said, can I come over? And I thought, he's never had to ask to come over. And I said, sure, you can come over. And he said, they're not trying to pick Lynn's friends, but they just wanted me to know that they could get her in a mess that she might not be able to get herself out of, and they're afraid she's going to get hurt. Every time I see you with John, after the pep session, I see you with John. Before the pep session, I see you with John. Walking down the hall, I, I see you with John. It really pissed me off because I know how he is. You think John care about you, you dog are wrong. He only want one thing, Lynn, I'm telling you. Well, why are you going along with it? I, you don't see him getting in front of me, so I don't call that going along. I heard you was all crazy over him. It kills me because I know you, he's just going to fuck right, around. He's going to fuck you over, Lynn. I, I know he is. Do you really know what he wants? Yeah, I do, but I know what he ain't getting. Did I say he's everything? Huh? When John fuck over you, just don't say I didn't. I ain't gonna say nothing. Cause it's gonna happen. The way he used to talk about white girls, the way all of them did. I ain't gonna say shit. I'm telling you. I'm you okay, Lynn, they gonna out, when they get you out somewhere, I'm not I, saying them. I, don't when you, you get I, out somewhere and then some other ones come around. You this, I'm here. Yeah. See, you're always here when I need you and I'm always here when you need me. And I'm glad we can talk about it instead of arguing about it, but. Why are you start getting shitty with me? I ain't been getting shitty with you. Ever since you and John started messing around. You can't you can't sit up there and say you haven't, because you have. David, did you notice her acting like that? Tell the truth. So you have been acting funny. Especially toward me. Cause I guess you don't want John to think that me and you have something going on or we're messing around or what. I right man, now, don't lie. I know that's what I it is. Back off. You have been getting shit, and you know you have. And I'm not the only person that noticed the shit either. I ain't gonna say shit. You get hurt, you just get hurt. 
Shit, I try to tell you. No, you always cuss no, me out. No, you ain't trying to tell me nothing. All you're trying to ask me is why I'm shitty with you, and I ain't okay. shitty with you. All right. All right, remember you said that, all right? This junk is killing me. I'm sorry, because it's John. Yeah, you're right. I mean, I know that. Right. I know that. You know, all me and Trey, you know, we just... Real good friends, everything. But uh, since like when John come along and your other friends came along, everything just faded. My away. other friends. Yeah. Oh, you guys aren't my friends no more. Okay. Yeah, we we you were friends. I said your other friends. But seems like me and Terrell just got pushed to the back. You know. You know it. Me and Terrell cares about you a lot. So, hold on a second. Just let me talk. But Terrell, I don't care. Okay. Uh, hey, okay. no, you Look, you um, you see his point, but he. No, you he, don't know. His point is like this. Terrell like Terrell's crazy. Listen, Terrell is crazy over you. Terrell will do anything for you. I know. I, there's many times I done say, man, you crazy, man. He said, no, man, I ain't crazy, man. There's many times he be want to do things just to come back around and see you. Just to see you and see see how you're going. Terrell likes you a lot. I'm not. I'm, what I'm trying to say is that Terrell likes you in a way that you know. You know what I'm talking I know, about. I know what you're saying. Are you? Are you all right? Yeah, Terrell. Look, look, look. No, God. No, you're wrong. You you no. All right. You're wrong. Yeah, God. I got you. Oh, you know what I'm talking about. In that way. Did you understand that? Yes. That's why he gets in this stuff all the time. Because you... All the time. Yeah. He doesn't even get sent this shit like that. And he's been going through it for two years. You changed that. Seriously, you have changed that. Man, you... You just... Yeah. Yeah, and you, just you smile about it. You do everything. I ain't smile. And you think every time you argue with you, you just, I don't know what, let me see, what's the word for it? Just something to get out of his mind, something like that. That's why I argue with you, because you won't, that's probably why, because you won't go to the table, you won't talk to him anymore. He won't, he won't even sit down and talk civilized. All he does is sit and holler, and I don't. Mm. I tell you what's the truth. I don't know what in the hell's going to happen. Everybody acts like they're half baked. Everybody is not. I wish you wouldn't say that around these black kids now. Well, that's the way it is. Some some's niggers and some's black people. Just like some people's white trash and some people's white. That's right. And it's just the way I look at it. That's right. But they ain't going to kill. I told Lynn, I'll fire that. I said, Lynn, I said, this shit's going to stop. It's going to stop tonight. John home yet? He ain't. Okay, listen. Um, a couple black girls just called here threatening my mom, saying that um, she wouldn't let him talk to me. And they said, well, listen, you white trash. You've had it now. Mom said, you listen to me, you black bitch. You ain't bringing nothing on. And so um, you better just tell John that um, I don't care if we talk anymore ever again. I mean, even talk, period. It's just bringing too much trouble with all his friends. Who's this girl he's got the baby by anyways? What's her name? Uh-huh. Don't laugh. You know what I'm talking about. Well, listen, you just, you can tell him that uh, it's he's not worth the hassle. I mean, uh, having all his friends calling and saying stuff and all these girls, he's just got too many problems for him, to, just causing too many problems. No, don't have him call me. No, just don't have him call me. Ever. No. It's too much trouble, man. These chicks is caught five times in a row threatening my mom. That's getting a little bit heavy with some shit now. They ain't none of them whipping nobody yet. But they, I'll tell you, they... And I'll tell you something else. They ain't none stuff. of them talk to me I like that because I didn't mom do is pissed. And I'll tell you something. She'd just soon blow their face away than have anything said to her. 
And I'll tell you right now, you can tell all that, you can tell John to tell all them girls, he knows that my mom does carry a gun with her at all times. And she ain't afraid. I don't need no she ain't gun afraid for to use that. Ass teenager. They're messing with the wrong family. That's all I, I mean, as far as that goes, they're just messing with the wrong family. They think they're rough calling and saying shit. But they ain't whipped nobody yet. And my mom ain't afraid to use a gun. And honey, I'm not either. And if any of them gets in my face, I'd just soon blow their shit away. I ain't scared of none of the bitches. And mom's pissed, says my dad. After that cross got burnt in the yard the other day, Mom is pissed. Somebody burned a cross in the yard the other day. John didn't tell you? Well, yeah. Yeah. But it's all right. There's there's things around here. I mean, I wouldn't even try to whip them with my hands because there's more stuff than that backing me up, and I'll use it before I use my hands. And I'm going to tell you what, right now, if they hurt you, for God's help them because they're going to need him. And I mean that, and you know I do, because somebody's going to get hurt, and they ain't going to go to trial. I'll go to jail first before I see them hurt you, Lynn. I mean it. And you know I mean it. Are you all right? Or if they tear up your car. Yeah. And if I find out who's down at their asses, God's, because they ain't going to be no good here. Now, I really don't think they'll come around here messing around, because this neighborhood isn't one of the best neighborhoods for black kids anyhow. What they do, they'll get around somewhere. That's right. But they could get you stuck in a situation out by yourself or out with another girl, a white girl or something, and really hurt you. And I, I went to school with them. I've got good friends that's black. I know what I'm talking about. And you know I wouldn't tell you wrong. But this shit's getting way out of hand when they start threatening me because all they're doing is pissing me off. Thing is, though, they're going to say, yeah, Lindy came to school today because she's scared. But i got to work tomorrow. I promise. Well, I'd be, I'm the only waitress going thing. anyways. They I work 10 to 4. In the water I offered, I'll be at school. I won't sign in. I'll just be there fighting. You wait and see if I don't do some ass kicking. You wait and see. Lynn, I'm going to tell you something about people that fight. And it's not just black people. Kids that fight when they're that age fighting more than one person all the time all the time they're going to have two or three at least and you may be by yourself because for one thing they're going to have a friend with them to show off for or they wouldn't fight right I don't know. oh mom as many fights i've been in i know that, been that i not bad well, bad fights but i know i'm not trying to sound like a badass i just know what i'm talking about i've seen it happen it's happened to me before when i was a kid and it ain't worth it. It's a shame to me that they think everybody's so prejudiced, prejudiced against black people. And hell, it's just as bad the other way. They're just as damn prejudiced against us. They think we do all the terrible things and we're, we're holding them down and they can't get nowhere in this world. Well, Jesus Christ, they're doing it to themselves and they're doing it to the ones that try to get along with them. Hey, you guys take it easy now because I got to go. Yeah, be all right. Careful. We'll see, see you now. Day. Okay. Be careful. Be careful. Hey, I Keep touch. Like hey, okay, I'm calling. Okay. Okay. Night. Right. You guys want to run down a piece of cake? Huh? I want to stay here and fight. Well, Come on, you bitch. Yes, I can. I'm ready, Mom. I'm serious. I'm going to start carrying this. Here, here's my gun. Can you believe it's that night that I I'm had gonna, I'm going to learn how to use one of them suckers. Look, look here. You wait and see how I don't. She wants to look at her gun. Look here. And that night when we had those guys that were robbing the place out here, I couldn't find it. It was hanging here, but I'd turned the bed around. I, I, everything was in the wrong place. I couldn't believe it. So I just grabbed the flashlight. All right, get cool, Jim. Happy <laughs> birthday to you. <laughs> Big 38. You going to hold 39? Yeah. You going to stop having them at 39? I'll never make it through 39. Yeah. I'm scared of them frogs. You whitey. <laughs> So what she told me, Mom. You gonna get your butt kicked, you whitey. I laughed at her. That bitch ain't with nobody. Now, Lynn, you have a very nice speaking voice. It is very great for your poise to get up and talk. I ain't getting up in front of nobody. I wouldn't get up in front of Jesus Christ if he's staying here and do a report. I know. I ain't getting up in front of nobody and doing a report. I'm just asking you for a pass to go to my counselor's site and office. You tell 99% of these people before they take his class that they have to do reports, you wouldn't have a class. I've already told all my classes already. The guy that gets known. And if the guy's counselors don't tell them, then that's their, the guy who's Well, I'm going to talk to Mr. Robinson have him tell everybody so you won't have no classes next thing. Maybe they'll fire you. I'm too bad. I'm not worried about it. You will. I've already told my classes. They already know it. I'd love to hit her. I would. I'd love to hit her. Are you going to write me past? I don't know. I don't want to.
want you to drop my class. I shouldn't give you a pass slip to go drop my class, Lynn. Well, I'll just go after this class, Ann. Now, I think you need that. To drop it, you're right. No, I think you need to get your confidence to stand up in front of the class. That's all right. I didn't Nobody's stand going to kill you or, or criticize well, you or anything. I just don't want in this class. You just disappoint me so much with the ability that you have. <coughs> It just absolutely makes me sick to think that you're throwing all that away. Go get good and drunk. I mean, bombed out of my head. So make a deal. So make a deal. If you can find a house, I'm a better find a field. Best carpet. Any place is fine. It's time to get you rocking here. It's time to make you mine. Tell me if we dance or dance until we drop. It's time to get down and do the horizontal oh, box. <laughs> what do you think about black and white both mixing? Oh man, I want to talk about it. I think it's death. Yeah? No matter where in the hell you live, like shit town, they Holy hate shit. They, okay, I know, they hate niggers, right? Fuck niggers. Right. Okay, that's right. But what do you think about it, man, when a white mixes with the black? I don't I like it. it. Sucks. I don't That's like one it. Thing I, like it I would baby never uh, associate with not no way. No. There ain't no way in hell. That's stupid too damn long, I mean, man. Okay, remember we said one of the uh, important things about sociology is is the study of group relationships. Okay, and so of course this book is very heavy in in defining or using definitions to try to explain it to. Uh, uh, some of its information, so it starts off with uh, trying to define a group. And who wants to define a group, of course? Not me. According to the book definition, Tim Lee. One or more people that inter interact together and interrelate together. Now, uh, one of the things the book goes on to point out is, is there are many group-like situations that exist in life that are not necessarily groups. The first one, the statistical categories is statistical categories and social categories. You need to know the difference. And what we're taking a look at is simply we're taking a look at group like uh, situations. Okay? But that are not groups. Okay? And one of those things is something called categories. So tell me what's that all about? What are categories? What are social categories and statistical categories? In terms of, of they do like situations, but they do not meet the criteria of a group. Categories. Again, of course, they're stressing definitions here. I guess what I'm trying to say is this. You know, if I ask you to, you guys to, to uh, define this word, which I hear you use all the time, job. I'd, I'd have maybe 27 different definitions. And what we'd have to do is, before we all understood what jive meant, because jive is going to mean something different to each one of us, right? We'd have to all work together and come up with a working definition of what jive meant. So that if Kelly Hannon here uses uh, the word jive, then David Lamb back there would understand exactly what she meant. Okay? Did you see the car? All right. I went out there when it was pulled, they pulled it in on Dolly. 
Dolly's. They just pulled his car in. All right, on Dolly's. Just like they done mine, his car was about this wide at the top of the hood. The church mouse is in critical condition. Tim Barton, he's in critical. His, his whole car, from the front end of that pinto to the back, is as wide as a van hitting. A van hitting broadside, man. I ain't going out there till tomorrow. There ain't nothing you can do out the hospital but sit and look at everybody else looking at you. That's it, man. Did you find out who did it yet? I already know, man. It's a red no. somewhere and he hit his broadside broken jaw broken collarbone and he got his ribs broken down through here okay he's in a coma he's still unconscious he said it's all we can do is hang on and i said and i stood up and i said look i said tim's gonna make it i said he'll make it i said he's tough as nails i said just like me he's tough as nails he's gonna make it Somebody that's, only way to talk. that's right, Ross Tough too. Sure's about to gonna make it though, ain't he? Yes. You sir. know he will. Yes. Hey, and he, we'll have a drink he would have been here, he would have carried my stereo down here with me. Hey, I talked to Tim at school. I scrapped him to him third period. I know, and I went by him and he said, What do you say, Buck? And I said, Not much. He slapped my hand, he said, You gonna be at that party night? And I said, Yeah, and he goes, You come by and pick me up. And he goes, Me and you're gonna go in. And he said, We're gonna party. Do nothing the rest of the night. You can get my 20 years in. I think I'll stay at home. <laughs> I'm gonna get my 20 years in. Well, hey, 38 years old though. You can well, get a job. You can get a job. Have a part time job. You can get a part time job. And if they decide they want to fire you, all, right, all you gotta do is say, hey, if you ain't fire me, I quit. Because you don't have to work anymore. You got about two, three thousand dollars coming to work. When it comes to war, you'll be catching the bullets. So. No, I'll be on a ship, aircraft carrier. I'll be setting the aircraft off about 15, 15, 20 miles, about 15 or 20 miles away from the, from the war zone. Yeah. I hope you're right. It's all right. I like it. I like it. I'm up for burglary. And, and they're. They're, all right, Church Mouse, he had a wreck, man. God bless his soul. Hey, man, he's going to pull through it. He's tough as nails. And they got me and, he, me and him up for a fucking burglary. And we're gonna pull, he's going to pull through an accident. There ain't no doubt about it. He's in critical condition. There ain't no doubt about it. He's tough as nails. He, he's nails instead of Wheaties. And there ain't no doubt about it. He's going to make it through it. Yeah. Man, because he got to. He's got to. And there ain't no doubt about it. Because he was supposed to beat be here at this cake night he was supposed to bring me here me and my stereo he's supposed to bring me and my girlfriend and a few other people man and he had it wrecked man it's a bad scene my girlfriend ain't here i should be mad her hell tomorrow but hey i can't stand it without church mouse it just ain't a cake man it just ain't a cake without church mouse shit i'm so drunk i can't count three four five Five. You get two dollars? Yeah. Do you really live? Can I have it? Sure. Oh, Jeff, I just love you to death, man. Here's eight dollars. Jeff's gonna give us two. Eight dollars. That's what we can get, man. They've already paid three dollars to get in. No, they or didn't. Two. They're two. Two and three. One. No, this... just two. No, -uh, because Les and that put chick two in, in pink pants. Come in with the other two girls. They yeah, didn't pay at all. They bought a couple beers in with them, and they didn't pay at all. Well. Where's them broads in the pink pants that didn't put no money in? I don't think they did. I'm pretty sure they did. You need more? You need more, Molly? Cry on my shoulder, all right? You're all right. Just leave me alone. Why won't he leave you alone, huh? Because he loves you. Would you love him? No. Why not, Sandy? Shh, come on, tell me. Okay, okay. It, it'll take him a while, right? 
He's out there starting all kinds of when trouble. When did you break up with him? Friday. Friday. Last Friday. It'll, it'll, it'll take him a while. Well, he don't need to go out there and start fights. Jack had to bring him here. Why did Jack bring him here? Because he's stupid. Hey, don't, hey, don't go back out there. I can't you, hey, I don't listen, want to get hurt. Listen to me. Listen to me. Be, be yourself. Have fun. If he, help listen, listen, listen to me. Okay. I don't want to Tell go him with that. him. I want to go out with the people. Well, that's what I feel, you know, like, like now. Like, I want to go out with Flynn, but I thought she's playing hard to get, so I just kind of gave up on her there for a while. Hell, she likes to go out with you. I talk to her all the well, time. Well, I do, too. You know, I, I want to go out with her, too, but see, I'm, I'm shy. I swear to God I am. I'm not, I may not act shy at school because no, I'm putting a show on. With Joe, I just can't stand it because I just... I know how it is. I went with the girl for a year, and I, I hated the last couple months. It's so boring. Four years, though, Danny. You're talking about four years. I know. I'm my whole life. I can't just drop it. I know it. You're going to have to, because if you're not happy with that, you're going to have to find someone else who can make you happy. Like with my girlfriend, Carmel. She's 21. She's wanting to settle down. And I'm just starting to have fun. Like now. You're like, look at me. I know. You're just starting to have fun. Joking. Right. Joking can have fun anytime he wants to, but it's different for a girl or something. I don't know. But you got to tell him you need time. I told him I broke up with you, man. You wouldn't believe my family. You wouldn't believe what they're saying to me. You believe well, I know you're not a sleaze. I, you know, I respect you. Okay? I thank you for that. I thank Cause you. Because I respect you for, for what you are. There's no rumors about you. And I like you for yourself. Look at all those guys you've passed up. You know, you could have went out. Oh, a yeah, a lot of guys I've passed up. Just everybody Sandy, wants to go looking, out with okay? me. Everybody I'd like to go out with go. you, but, you know, I don't feel like I'm your type or something. I don't know, but... Uh, I just, you're a good-looking girl, okay? I can't believe that... There's a lot of guys that like Jack. Jack. Yeah. Jack brought him here. Well, I'll send them well, away. I'd love well, to go out with them if they're good-looking. Well, I'd like to go out with you, okay? I'm not good-looking. Okay, fine. We'll go out. I'm not good-looking, but, you know, I'll treat you right, you know? And I'm just not thinking about one thing. I mean, I mean Joe, Joe treats me right. Yeah. Joe does everything that I want him to. He buys me. He'd buy me anything in the world that I want him to buy me. I know, because my girlfriend happening. wants me so bad, she'd do anything in the world for me. She That's lives by herself. She, you know, she said I mean, I can he's move got money out of his butthole. Why don't I go with him? Why don't I Money's marry him and it? live him every day? Live out happy ever after. Money ain't everything. It's love. I'll That's right. And I just can't believe it. And when it. you don't love somebody, it's just not... And my parents, right you wouldn't believe. Like today, you know what they said to me? What? They said, my, my brother said, well, what the hell is she taking the bath for? Mom said, oh, she's going to go out screwing. And I'm sure. I know, you're just out there Just because I've gone with him with yeah. four years don't mean that. They think you're out screwing around with him, right? Right, with everybody. Well, not with everybody. You know. I know my mom knows I'm, you know, doing that kind of shit with my girlfriend, but... Yeah. That's different. You're a guy, but I'm a girl, and I don't do that crap. And she thinks that I'm out running around doing Screwing that stuff. Every guy comes along, right? Right. Just because I broke up with Joe. Hello. Twenty twenty. Okay. Thank you. Bye. Lab party. They got it on. Please scan. The police, the police don't care about domestic quarrels. Tell him to fuck off. I have told him, and I have told him. I'm not involved. I hear you. You guys go talk. Come here. Talk and right straighten here. it out and get out right of here. Right here. Oh, you got it. It's your next story, okay? All it's right. over with, right? All right. Let's go, Sandy. We're breaking it up. Let's go. We're breaking it up. I don't know how loud it is, but... Not necessarily loud. Just bothersome to someone. Well... The biggest part of the party is really already left, you know. It's fine, as long as it doesn't bother anybody else for the rest of the night. Okay, thank you. I just got home from work myself. Man, graduation night, I'm going to be worse than this. I'm going to party to a pew. Let me see where the hell my blanket's at. Oh, shit, I can't think straight. Brad Sumner, Brad Sumner, he's so good. Oh... I forgot my cigarettes. I was going to smoke one before I went to bed. They're laying in there. How can I go in there with no bra on and shorts on? 
Church Mouse, you heard about him. He's in critical condition, man. They don't think he's going to make it. Mom told me that while I was climbing into the bathtub. I said, I don't want to hear that shit. <laughs> I just, you know, I grabbed the phone away from her. She was telling me all that shit, and I grabbed the phone. I said, hey, I don't even want to hear that shit. I said, don't tell me. I said, don't tell me till a couple of days later. I said, I don't want to hear nothing about it. I said, whatever it is, I don't want to hear nothing about it. I said, I ain't got nothing to do with it. I don't want to hear nothing about it. I said, I can't stand it. Yeah, oh, I'm shook up. No, I hate, I, you know, I hate to get shook up on a weekend. But man, I've been crying since about fucking 12 afternoon. Hey, at the hospital, I'm done running out of the hospital. I can't go back in the hospital. They didn't, they didn't run me off from there. <laughs> Oh, go in a circle. Well, that's the reason. Fine, fine. Well, I'll, I'll be all right. Everything's fine. But, but God damn it, I just don't want to hear no more about it. Because right, right, I will go into hysterics. No, you won't. Yes, I will. No, no. You don't have to hear more about it. It'll be all right. It'll be all right, I know. But I don't want to hear no more about it. All right, Sherry, will you please do me a favor? Sure. Just, just don't say nothing to him about me. Sure. Cause I'll go nuts. No, you're not gonna go nuts. I will. I will if you say anything to no, me about it. It's alright. I will though. It's alright. I know. I got it. Alright. You're gonna so, eat it and it's gonna be alright. Cool. I got it. Got it? Got it. Ten four. Shut the door. <laughs> That's right, but I can't handle nobody. Mmm, we get some. No. I can't.
Teeth got started with getting weak. Let's find you. Goddamn teeth. Ah. Teeth. I'm sick now. Whoops. Wrong teeth. Whoops. Teeth. No, you Get him a blanket. I got him. I'm going to puke on you if you don't like it. No, in other words. Sit down here. Hey, there is a limit to what you play. We do play a little bit. Hey, Brian. Go ahead. I If you're going to fart around, open that beer. We won't catch your fish. Who thinks I'm old enough to keep up the best of y'all? It is not a fact of being old enough. I want you to go to bed. Why? Because I said so, God damn it. That's good enough fucking reason. That's right. <laughs> good night. Good night, God damn it. I know what you are. It you're take, drunk, it, you're it, wasted, it, and you might as well forget it. It won't take fish. You ain't gonna catch no fish, you ain't gonna catch me, you ain't gonna catch nothing. Mm -hmm. No, no. Honey, I can catch anything I want to. You try that, but it's a worm. Sure, you're worm. Yeah, let me see your worm. <laughs> well, wait a minute. Now. That's why you never catch let me, anything. Let me lay my tomato juice down. Them son of a bitches is molded to death. Ugh, look at that. Oh no, they're in fine shape. Goddamn boxes rotted in too. No, it ain't. See, look at that big night crawler. Let's go. Crap. You talking about nice night crawler well, now? Look at that. <laughs> we'll probably have to call for another truck to bring the fish on <laughs> You really see the big fish coming in. Look at there. Somebody's getting in the driveway. That's somebody's dirty too. No, that's their pants. Gee, well, we had a hell of a party here last night, didn't yeah. we? <laughs> what night of party? Might have been three or four six packs. Might have been ten. <laughs> I ain't going but look at the shape drive. I'm in. I'm having a good time, you know, shit. I usually don't stay up this late. I just gotta get out there once in a while. You know how it is. Mm. On the weekends. See, a friend of mine, I'm up here in Muncie, and a friend of mine just passed away. And uh, one of you play Bob Seger against the wind and donate to Tim Barton. Could you do that for me? Tim Barton? Well, he had a car wreck, and uh, he got hit broadside, and uh, made his little pinto about two foot wide. And, you know, he was in a coma since Friday, and he just passed away today, and I was wondering if you'd, you know, play that for us. And was talking about, you know, what happened if one of us would die and how we'd feel about it and shit, you know. And everybody agreed that they'd be bummed out, you know, and grieving and shit, you know, and crying, mourning, you know, mourning their death. And everybody agreed that 
They didn't want people to do that, man. You know, they wanted to just have a big party and say hell with it. You know, say it's gone and don't worry about it and shit like that. But you know, everybody's everybody's gonna do everybody's gonna mourn over it anyway. Listen. There you go, crank it, crank it, Keith, that's it. They didn't say Fuck no. Seems like this today. But it was long ago. Jane was lonely, she was a queen by now. There in the darkness when the radio came low. The secrets that we share. tuxedo and a big blue one or something. Why? You don't wear a tuxedo when you're alive. Why do it when you're dead? <laughs> Hell, man. In case somebody finds me, you know, digs me up one day, they'll, they'll think I'm rich or something. I want to be buried <laughs> face. I want to be buried face down so the world can kiss my ass. Your dick be going to China one. <laughs> I was going to tell somebody tonight, you know. Tim would be cracking on us, though, wouldn't he? He would. I was going to tell somebody, yeah, he's got a heart on. You know, because he's all stiff and stuff. But I didn't. I thought oh, it was cruel. He got killed. But he would be cracking on us if we, you know, if we was in his situation. No, he would. No, sure. Yeah, yeah, he would. Yeah, we know. A bunch of guys, the kinds, a couple kinds, and a bunch of their friends from over on that side of town. I know what down. the kinds looks like, no? They said they wanted to fight. They I'll fight jumped Mike Barton out the pantry, man. They fried his eye. It's, a, it's black. I mean, you know, when you talk about a black eye, you think a little bit of blue spot here. It's black and all swelled shut. They jumped and hit him with something. I don't know. Hey, huh? I don't know. I think they're white. I, I doubt they're niggers. They ain't that crazy. They wouldn't want to meet us in their own park. I don't think they're that crazy anyway. See this? He got jumped. This is rocking. Right. <laughs> you know what's going to happen? I do. I told you. Mm, Marciano. <laughs> right. <laughs> we got to go over on 14. I can give you up, man. I'm leaving. Are you going to fight, Penny? Hell yeah, I'm going to fight. Uh, I, I, don't run. Yeah. I can handle it just like any other boy. I mean, <laughs> just like any other boy. <laughs> My stick. Man, I got my baseball bat. <coughs> my old man's will come down with a case of beer, sitting yeah. back in his truck. Why hide the motherfucker somewhere? In the trash or something. Serious. I ain't carrying it. You know. They can't do nothing to me for this bull whip. I hope they can do something to me for this. It's too long to carry. Just hide it somewhere. So I pulls an knife on you, take off running, and go get yours. Me. <laughs> Well, they, they have to be fools to come over here. Yeah, they ain't gonna come. They're too yeah. afraid, man. Now, if we went over there, we'd be fools. Look how many times we had uh, rums of people. Those niggers didn't show up now. 
The wheels down here are supposed to come the other day about four o'clock. Well, they didn't come. They ain't gonna show up. I should let them beat you up. <laughs> no, but if you guys out by yourself, be careful because that's what they're going to do. Get everybody that's going to be by themselves. Shit, I just come in. I and, and, that's uh, good, man. I come in, the old lady goes, man, Mike, nothing will be out of my shit on, man. I don't know what he, I think he hit me the blackjack, man, across the eye twice, and then I, I just slapped him in red. Might as well fight against each other, bro. They drunk fight each other. They ain't fucking coming over here, man. They know me. I know it, man. They're <laughs> already late. I know. Half hour. Yeah. These girls ain't gonna have no game after all. <laughs> girls? You guys all bunch of snappies down here. That's the reason nobody come around. <laughs> oh, we've been down here since 7 o'clock. And they ain't came. I knew they weren't gonna come. I told you. They wasn't coming. I knew they wouldn't because if they did, they'd be in bad shape. Well, I guess I'm about ready. Hey! It's money, I'm ready to go. You didn't bring smelly stuff on? Yeah, I did. You can't smell it. Oh, nasty. Mm. I can smell it. I'm hungry. What, what happened to me you had? I got it. How much more do you need? About 30, 35, <laughs> 40. I'll Keep... give you 10 more. What? I'll give you $30. When? That'll make you $30. No. Yeah, you got last night. I got a 20. All right, if I can give you 10, I'll make you $30. So, if you, you give me 20, I'll make me 40. You don't need $40 to sure carry with you. Give it to me. She has that money for me tonight. Well, I don't care. Bucks. That's about the end of it. Well, I owe you. But don't drive, don't jerk the car around I now. Ain't. There's a pop in the trunk. <laughs> thirst guys whoop one out. Yeah. Don't be jerking the car around. Don't be drinking. Don't you be smoking no pot. I'm going to get plastered. Except I ain't going to be drinking. <sighs> this is the first time she's let me drive it since I wrecked it last time when me and Lynn was out drinking Jack. Well, what are you going to eat? Butterfield. Where are you going? Yes, we was going to Red Lobster, but Mike wants... Mike wants to go to Claire's, okay. man. Okay. He's going to eat lobster and steak, I guess. I started putting this thing on my neck James. and busted. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to take my chains off, man. Look, we're almost as good looking as Dana is. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God, when it's over. Makes me nervous. No. We do look nice, Dana. So do you guys. Keith, what's going on? Oh, I don't know. Don't let it fail. 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 How's that sound to you, James? What's that? Seafood St. Jacques. Crab meat, scallops, shrimp combined with mushroom, pull-up sauce, topped with Swiss and Parmesan cheese, oven baked. Sound like a winner. That's what I think of. King crab. Have you ever ate crab? I've never ate crab. <laughs> Look at the butt. 
I think it's no one get too close there. No, he's got something on his. Don't you even snarl at me like that. I'll cold cock him. Bullshit. I'll cold cock him. Yeah, get him out of here. He's got a leech on the bottom of his shell. We'll show him, Daddy Slater. Let me see it. Yeah, there he goes. He likes Carlo. He likes me, buddy. I've been on him all day. I have. I ain't done nothing. Birdles on his tail. He can't get it. I bet he could. Watch. Forget it, buddy. It's good. It looks like a big enough one to try We went over to Teresa's house, and I started fucking her in, in there in the bedroom. Mm. She started getting off. She goes, I'm coming, I'm coming. She started screaming. So I said, are you? And I jerked it out. She grabbed me, boy. She goes, what the, she goes, what the hell are you doing? She says, get on me. I said, you going to buy me a case of beer? Yeah, I'll buy you a case of beer. I said, you got the money? Fuck the money. I just tuck it back in real quick. Oh, man. She started calling on me, boy. I'd like to have been there. Fuck the money. That's a fast case of beer in it. No, this chick's 19 or 18. Oh, she's 18. <laughs> Way to get a case. She started coming. She goes, Colin, ah, ah. I said, are you? Ah, oh, I jumped, jumped back. She goes, oh, what are you doing? Did you get your case? <laughs> oh, I didn't think I was going to have no back left. I thought this was all going to be underneath her fingernails. <laughs> I hate that. You nah, ate, you ate I, it? I said, hey, not eight. No, no. Uh, Shit, I wouldn't eat none of your cooking. <laughs> Debbie King sucked a good dick. On top of the rocks. <laughs> I was fucking this chick on top of these rocks. You know, there is no place to fuck at a stone quarry except in the water. Her back is all skinned up. I know. Next next day I was laughing. She goes, you think it's funny? She got mad. I said, yeah, do it again. <laughs> she goes, you're on bottom this time. I said, I doubt it. My knees is all skinned up. My elbows. Some scars right there. You know, I had her at my house one time. I had her titties out and everything. But my mom and dad was about two houses down. Ready to come home. Yeah, she, I was ready to lay her. Yeah. yeah. I've known her ever since I was his age or littler. Uh, we used to play the secret, you know, hide and seek all the time. Me and her would be always go hiding. <laughs> <laughs> they ain't going to find us. Shh, be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> Have the hand going. <laughs> be quiet. <laughs> I was uh, fucking Debbie King, my cousin's house, and his wife was in bed. Mm -hmm. And we was in the uh, hallway fucking. Mm -hmm. And uh, she started moaning and groaning. So she's going to wake his wife up. His wife up. He gets up out of bed. What's going on in there? He comes in there, pulls these pants off, says, hey, scoot over, give me some of that. She, would, <laughs> she wouldn't let him fuck her. <laughs> I was ready to pull a train. I was going, whoo, whoo. <laughs> she would have did it if she would have been drunk. She might do it if she ain't drunk. <laughs> I'd pull a train on two ladies, drunk or sober. <laughs> I know I would, too. I tried to this morning. Why didn't you? I couldn't do it. Oh, uh, I know you're talking windy and dead. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, Debbie. Oh, my God. I didn't even see you sitting there. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Buck. Son of a bitch. Why don't you tell me she's sitting back there? Howdy. <laughs> oh. I've been sitting here for about 20 I minutes, Bill. I forgot about you sitting back there. She has. Debbie. Jesus. Yo. That scared the hell out of me. I look back. Big one. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Can play some hide and seek? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> My name's Debbie, but not King. <laughs> I'm gonna stay a penny for a couple of days. Oh, you're gonna shit. I can stay a pennies if I want oh. to. Hassle me. I'm not hassling you. Don't lock me out of the house. Well, then get home at a decent right. time. When you start locking me out of the house at 10 o'clock, I will stay someplace else. That's stupid. Oh. I'm not 15 years old. Well, and ain't nobody giving age. no orders. After age, then. Oh, well, so, well, you won't either, because you're not going to stay a penny a couple days. Uh, now, you wait and see. Come back up for the rest of it later. I'm tired of being the dirty dog for all of them. Tucker, I don't need her. So her and dad ain't doing nothing for me. That don't matter. They can keep their two sons. I just pity the boys. If she's acting like this now, I can imagine how she's going to act towards them. Because right now, both them boys is wilder than I am.
Dad thinks I'm so bad. I can. He can go eat shit somewhere. What'd she say? Whining around. She whines every time we get in a fight. I don't want to leave. I don't want to leave. Shit. She ain't stopping me this time. She thinks I'm going home tomorrow. She's got everything coming. Wow. Q95. I don't want to go to work tonight. Yeah, I do. I gotta get some money. Support my habit. How can you have a habit if you can't support it? Gonna be a godfather, uh, uh, no, uh, uncle. So I guess this ride ain't gonna pass. That's the guy I'm gonna have to pass it back. Be surprised. I might even pass out joints. Man, the car is good. Yeah. Nothing but the bomb. Man, yeah, take, take it down. She in hot fitting? She, she there, but she ain't admitted in yet. She still in hot fitting? Well, uh, if she do, I mean, you know, you think she gonna have it today? Man, she is? Oh, man. She might have been already had it, because you know when she said, when she, you know, going labor and give me a hat, she ain't going to call you until after she had it. I didn't think I said that woman was coming in with a baby. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't mine. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't mine. <laughs> it ain't mine. <laughs> I know it ain't mine. <laughs> Oh. Let's pick one up. Little boy one day. 
You know I was at the boys club playing Play basketball when you was born. Let me just say this here. Remember what I told you about life, basically. Life is nothing more than a combination of hard work and luck. And you can go through Southside and get straight A's, and it doesn't guarantee that you're going to have any particular success in life. Okay? It's a combination of hard work and uh, luck. So uh, try to control your own destiny. Another thing, Terrell, I want you all to go out there and try to become very productive citizens and also become great parents. Now, we've just got to finish the course in sociology, so you understand how important it is the American family is to the American way of life. Become great parents, good husbands and wives, okay? Okay? Remember, it's up to you, and if we don't do it collectively, individually and thus collectively, uh, you want, believe me, you want America and you want our way of life around for the next... Uh, generation okay with that said does anybody have any comments okay let's go up front so Susie can take a picture. Hey, uh, Susie, you, do you guys got yeah you guys got a bunch together though jeez <laughs> hey, they're, they're gone thank goodness they're gone what the hell did you do smoke them no he had to roll them oh you're gonna have to re-roll them. They're so loose. He's so fucked up. You're gonna see straight. You have to re-roll them. I got papers in my purse. Get something to roll them with. Damn. They're so loose. I thought it was the president. He just said that, Penny. Where's Petra's out? In this part. He pussy let me keep my two bags. Did he? Did okay. it. We can get, get some nigger pot. Yeah, that's good shit. <laughs> Green. That has to be better than what he rolled it. It's a little tighter, but that's what I mean. Sorry about it. Oh, oh. <laughs> Yeah.